Welcome back. So throughout this session, I will explain how to install Windows features and rules that is required for SharePoint. You got two options. The first option is open your server manager inside your Windows server. And from here, go to manage, add rules and features. And after that, you got two window here. The first window select server rules. Actually, I install it, but don't worry. You just like uh, click on that one, click on that one. And after that next, and you need a definitely .NET Framework 3.5. So you have from that window as well, you need to check all the prerequisites for a SharePoint. After that, hit next. This will be the uh, installing using the server manager. On the other hand, I prefer to go with PowerShell. That you need all you need to have and keep your script with you and just copy and paste and sit on your chair and watch. It will be an easy step for you. So to apply that script, you need first to do one thing. You need to mount your Windows Server to your server. Okay, because you will need from Windows Server, from folder called it sources, you will need some files, which it will be used to install .NET Framework. So to do that, if you are using Hyper-V, like I'm using, just choose setting. And from setting, you will find here an option called it IDE controller one. And from here, it will be DVD. Um, and it choose, you know, image file from here and browse and from your local computer you can mount windows server 2012 okay and just click open and click ok this option will you know lead for you you will find here the windows server is mounted to your hyper v and if you open it not like that you need to open it right click and open and you will find here source folder and inside source folder you will find the folder called it sxs this folder it's required it's have and it contain all the required library to install dotnet framework 3.5 that's why you need to take that path in my case it's inside d drive backslash source backslash sxs i will take it as a copy and i would like you no know, close this one and i will come back to my uh, script and by end of, of a script you will find source parameter you need to put here your path in my case it's inside d drive maybe in your case it's f or e okay so what this script is basically talking about it's nothing it will just like add windows feature like you know .NET framework like web server like you know some other uh, rules and features which is a prerequisite to install a share point it is not a share point prerequisite it's a windows feature prerequisite here is it it's a windows feature prerequisite you have you know to differentiate between both of them okay that's cool okay like here as well you know you need to install application server and uh, XPS viewer and you know some other things so all I have I will do I will take that script copy okay I will don't don't worry I will give you the script don't worry as well you can google it through uh, uh, Chrome if here is that you can open you know Chrome and from here if you open SharePoint 2016 an installation of Windows feature prerequisite here is that you will find um, a lot of articles like you know this Microsoft official documentation from here uh, basically this one apply for 2016 and 2019 if you scroll down you will find you know all the scripts and everything it's inside Microsoft official documentation and uh, as well inside TechNet TechNet as well you can find the script okay but in my case don't worry I will as well here is it the script at windows features you can find it everywhere in the internet as well i will try to put it in the description so you will have it directly copy and paste so in my case i will right click copy and i will go to windows server and open your start menu and search for powershell ise ise okay here is it windows powershell ise not 
normal PowerShell. Not this one. I'm talking about Windows PowerShell, ISE. Right click and definitely run as administrator. Gonna take you know some time. If this window it doesn't show up for you, you just click here on you. Okay, it will be like that. In your case, you know, it will be like that. Okay, perfect. Wait some moment. Tell this one it will be fully loaded. I'm gonna take some time. Let's wait for a couple of, of moments. Yeah, here is that. It's fully loaded. He load all the libraries, which is required. After that, no need for this one. Let me close it. Okay, keep it. Yes, yes, exactly. After that, after it's fully loaded like that, all you need is right click and paste. Here is that, as you can see, I pasted my script, add Windows feature, and everything is over there. I don't know if I can, you know, increase the font here or not, but let's focus here, I think, from here. Yes, here is it, I think. And let me make it like that. Okay. So add Windows feature. Here is it, everything. But by end of that one, make sure the last parameter source, it will have the right path to that folder. And after that, just run a script from here. Definitely, I already run it before and it was successfully. So after you run this one, all you need to do is to verify from server manager. After you know, it will install everything for you. You need to verify that application server is installed successfully. And definitely .NET Framework 3.5 features, it's installed successfully. That's everything. So thank you for watching and see you in the next session.